Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel and today we are heading out to Fredericksburg, Texas. Fun facts. Fredericksburg is a German heritage town home to the wildest farm in the country with over 15 vineyards all across the town. Back in the mid-1800s, this town was founded by German colonists in which they named the town after Prince Frederick of Prussia. German used to be their primary language until World War I when English took over. We're about to head out in a bit. Without further ado, here are the things you can do in Fredericksburg during COVID-19 pandemic. Number one, you definitely cannot miss the Wine Road 290, which is a 30 mile stretch composed of 22 wineries from Johnson City to Fredericksburg. There are tour companies that will gladly give you a luxury wine tasting tour, but since we were only gonna be there for 24 hours, we decided to skip it. But if you do have extra time, make sure you call for reservations. Number two, La Quinta might be the best place if you only have a day or two in Fredericksburg because it's only five to seven minutes drive to the marketplace. Number three, one of the German restaurants you must dine at is the Auslander. I've read so many reviews about this place and 98% said they have the best authentic German cuisine in Fredericksburg and boy, they did not disappoint. Number 4, Chocolate El Rey. This place has been producing award-winning gourmet chocolate since 1929 using the finest cacao beans from Venezuela. Now I was specifically here for the unique batch of chocolates called Black Butterfly Mendiant Bars, which are right here on the video. I picked a blueberry lavender and raspberry rose while mom got the banana split. Number 5, Das Peach House. This place used to be a roadside market and now serving hundreds of products in a showroom. Unfortunately, due to COVID-19, all sampling opportunities has been canceled. If you do visit, I recommend buying the peach cider and wine, raspberry chipotle sauce, and the blue bonnet jam. Also grab some fresh baked peach cobbler on the way out. Number six is the marketplace, or Marketplatz in German. Over here, you can find different types of restaurants ranging from German, English, French, and Italian restaurants everywhere, as well as Mexican restaurants. We roamed around the streets for about an hour and found really, really cute trinket and quirky shops all over. So if you have more time, make sure that you explore for about 30 minutes to an hour. See if you can find something interesting that's more of your taste. Number seven is Der Lindebaum restaurant. For dinner, we had to check out another German restaurant called Der Lindebaum, located in the Marketplatz or the Marketplace, right across the Auslander Resto, where we had our lunch. There's also a large selection of German beers and Texas wines. Make sure that you don't miss the homemade cakes for dessert. But in our case, we were so full with butcher's plate, so. We kind of had to skip on that, but make sure you try it.
All right, that is it for today, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this content. Make sure you smash that like button and subscribe for more videos like this. Bye!